Hi, in this video, I will show you how to import a GDS file into ADS layout and then modify the stick up. We'll start by using the two layer substrate. Let's head over to the ADS layout environment. First, enable the visibility of the two conductive layers. Now, on the first conductive layer, let's draw up two lines. Next, switch to M2 layer and draw a ground. Once down, save your layout. To export the design, go to File, select the Export, and under the File tab, choose GDS file. Give the exported file name, click More Options, and then go to the Layer tab. From the list, choose Load Custom Layer Map File. Add a row, select the layers where we draw patterns, assign the appropriate layer number and the data type, and repeat the process for the another layer. Once everything is set, click OK and OK. All right, we have finished. Now let's import this file. Go to File, New, give it a name. Let's write Import the GDS Library and click Finish. All right, next, rename it. The first one as Export. So this is uh, uh, differentiated the first one, second one. Now let's go to import, design, and we point it to the right file, click layers, and click OK. Click OK. And now let's open this layout. Okay, we can compare these two layouts. They're the same at this moment. Let's check the import library, reverse library. And we are able to see this technology set up, right? Now it has all the same stack up and we can add a new layers on this. The second one, and we found that this new added the layer, layer 13 is in the uh, stake up list. Okay, now let's draw a pattern based on this layer. This is a blue one. And when we enable all layers, we find this pattern. And let's compare the first one. Okay, we have successfully added the one layer and we also have patterns based on that. So let's explore another method for editing the imported stick up. Okay, let's go to file, new library again, and give it a name. I'm typing the independent library, create a library, use the same export library and copy the technology. Let's check this new library. Now we see that there's an independent substrate under this library. Now let's go to File, Import Design. And this time, you will have copied the stick up, giving you full freedom to add it as needed. Okay, we don't need to uh, modify the original stack up, but we have a separate independent substrate to um, give the full control of the stack up. Okay, so now let's see that this um, layout has the same subject, the same patterns. However, we can open this stack up and we are able to add layers, delete it, assign any materials, 
Okay, so we can modify this stick up. Let's see, we added this independent layer. And save it. Then we find that this new layers has been added. Now let's draw a new pattern based on that. All right. And let's compare that. So this is the original subject. And for the second method, it actually has no subject at all either because it refers to the first one. We've discussed the two methods for importing GDS files and the layer map files to set up the stick up. However, a common issue users encounter is mismatching the layer map. To address this, here's a detailed solution. Click on Options, Technology. Under the Layer Definitions section, navigate to the Layers tab. You will find a column displaying the number next to each layer name. And these numbers are crucial and ADS layout has default internal layers with specific assigned numbers. If the numbers from the imported GDS file overlap with ADS default internal layers, ADS automatically shifts the numbering for the imported files layers. For example, if you import another file with a different stickup, the layer numbering will start from 15 following 14. And we want to start from 1 by ensuring that the layer numbers from the GDS file to do not conflict with ADS internal layers. Then we have to delete this layer from 1 to 15. That's what we learned from this video. Thank you for watching.